News 13 at 10. Good evening. A man shot and injured by state police in 2022 after leading officers on a chase is now taking legal action, claiming the officer used excessive force. News 13's Chandler Farnsworth talked with a man's attorney and has details. In pursuit of a vehicle. It was this police chase that ended with an officer opening fire on the driver, Paul Mares. Mares is now suing state police, the New Mexico Department of Public Safety, and the officer who fired his weapon, claiming the officer who opened fire used, quote, grotesquely excessive force. When he didn't have a firearm, he was not an immediate danger to anybody uh, for great bodily injury or death to anybody. According to court documents, in January 2022, Mares ran through a stop sign. A state police officer tried to pull him over when Mares took off, leading officers on a several-minute car chase through Las Vegas. Several minutes into the pursuit, a second state police officer, Adam Vigil, joined the chase. After officers conduct a pit maneuver on Mares, lapel video shows Mares tried to back up, hitting Vigil's patrol unit. That's when Officer Vigil opened fire. That's fire, that's fire, that's fire. The lawsuit accuses Vigil of assault and battery and engaging in an unsafe pursuit. It also claims that the officer did not follow the department's safe pursuit and use of deadly force policies. According to Mata's attorney, Mata's and Vigil knew each other through a family connection. It appears there might be a personal motive to the shooting by a New Mexico State Police officer. Uh, the officer that shot him and my client Paul Mara's have known each other for years. There is a family connection. Chandler Farnsworth, KRQE News 13. News 13 reached out to state police for a comment but did not hear back. Mattis faced a number of charges from that chase. He pled no contest to aggravated fleeing and false imprisonment and was put on probation.